Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Welcome to another beautiful Monday morning, mercy moments. Jesus is Lord. Lift up your hands wherever you are. I like people praying. I like people praying with us when we pray. Let's just worship God and thank Him. Oh, Father, thank you. You are so good and your mercy endures forever. You are wonderful in all your ways. Thank you for another opportunity for us to fellowship together. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, you will speak to us again. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Oh, welcome to another beautiful edition of Mercy Moment. This morning, I want to speak to you on something very wonderful. And that is, stand out wherever you are. You know, it is very easy to join others to compromise. This morning is more of a challenge that you follow your convictions from your spirits and not abandon what you truly believe for what others around you are saying. Now, there is a warning in Exodus 23, verse 2. The Bible says, do not follow the multitude to do evil. Do not follow the multitude to do evil. Listen, multitudes are not always right. In this world we live in, there is a tendency to want to follow what is popular, what is trendy, what is common. And this is why 
A lot of people are not able to stand out for what they believe. There is a story that illustrates this very powerfully. If you are very familiar with the word of God in Numbers 13, Moses had sent out spies to go spy out the promised land. So they went to spy out the place. And 12 of them, when they came back, 10 gave bad reports. But the Bible said Joshua, that's chapter 14, verse 6. They were sent out in chapter 13. But in chapter 14, it looked like minority reports. Joshua and Caleb said, no, God is able. And then the Bible said that the people started talking of stoning them. Number one, Joshua and Caleb did not give up. They did not keep quiet about what their convictions were because of what the people were saying. But then number two, that those who believed something else, they were 10, contrary to what Joshua and Caleb were saying, the fact that they were 10 didn't make them right. You see, there is a reason why the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, Romans 12 rather, that do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. It's, a, it's like an instruction. It's a command. Don't be conformed to this world. Don't blend in. One of the reasons why I'm sharing it this morning, too many Christians blend in into what is going on around us. And this is not God's plan for New Testament believers. We are called to stand out. We are the chosen ones. Hallelujah. You see, you are the light wherever you find yourself. You might be the only voice saying the truth. The only voice saying no to negative vices. The only one standing against all kinds of gimmicks and things going on. But you see, one with God, they say is with the majority. The sincere truth is, all you need on your side is God, not multitude. Many times, multitude will always get it wrong. They make wrong choices. They endorse wrong people. There are people in families, and they are listening to me this morning. There is a way your family is going, and you, are, you know deeply inside you that this is wrong. But because you don't want to be the odd one, you want to blend in. The word to you this morning is the fact that the Bible says, do not follow the multitude to do evil. The word to you this morning, the Bible says, that do not be conformed to this word. Don't let the standards and the practices of this word dominate you as a believer. You want to seek for progress the way they seek for it. You want to compromise the way they do all that, and then they make them and they say, nobody, nobody's clean, nobody's. And they say those things to catch people, bring them into their web. But the Bible says, you should stand out. Eventually, only Joshua and Caleb made it to the promised land. Those who stand on the truth, even though they might be persecuted, victimized by other people, but those who stand for the truth will always win at the end of the day. This is a clarion call, clarion call to all Christians across this nation and beyond to so make up your mind. Even when, when what you are standing for is not the popular opinion, but if it is God's will, take a stand. Don't blend in. There will always be a reward from God for standing for what is right. I know somebody is watching or listening this morning. Everybody in your office wants to take something from the boss. Everybody wants to cut corner. And they say something like, sit down there. And this is becoming common, especially in our nation. Oh, you think you can have it your own way. This is the way. No, that's not the way. That's just the deception of the enemy. Stand out. Stand for your conviction. And the Lord will lift you up in due season. I bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your home is blessed. Your work is blessed. In Jesus' name. Till I come your way again. This is Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Makide. God is good and His mercy endures forever. Amen.